So today I'm going to be talking about something that's really important when it comes to printing DTF transfers, which is going to be your temperature and your humidity. Now if your humidity is too low, you're going to get a lot of banding, you're going to get some clogging on your print heads, and you're not going to be able to do really long runs without having to do a lot of head cleanings. And if your, your humidity is too high, you're going to get problems with your film, with too much static sticking, and too much powder as well. So it's really important that, to regulate and control your environment. I'm not going to talk about how we regulate our environment, but I'm going to talk about how we monitor our environment. We got this from DTG Pro. I like to pretty much keep this as close as possible to my printer and my print heads, so it gives me a realistic figure. And the way it works is I pretty much have this downloaded on my phone. There's a nice app to it where you can set your low and your high parameters. We have it set at a low parameter of 30% humidity and a high at 70%. So anytime it falls below 30 and above 70, I get alert on my phone and I'll be able to come out and take care of this problem right away. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how this works on the app. So this is my temperature parameters that I set. I don't really need to worry about the code. I just worry about the heat, so I have it at 85. This is my humidity alert. 30% is my low, 70% is my high. If it hits on any of those parameters, it'll alert me. This is a sample of the alert that I get. I'm in California, so it's really, really dry here. I try to keep things above 30 at all times. The ideal humidity would be 50 or above, and max at about 70. So after getting that low humidity alert, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and see what happened for the day. So this is the hourly temperature. I see that the temperature is on the rise. So this is the chart of the day. It looks like there was a gradual decline and then all of a sudden there's a spike in temperature. That part explains why the humidity changed as well. This shows that there was a low of about 27% at this point that I got the alert. And this is when I came out and I turned on the second humidifier. I just knew that it was starting to get really, really dry. And that's something that I needed to pay attention to. All right, guys. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions in regards to the monitor or how it works, make sure you guys drop a comment. I'll be able to answer for you guys. Make sure you guys hit subscribe.